Welcome to Optimum Health Solutions and our tutorial about how to use the Test for Nutrition Diagnostic Testing Kit. This at-home kit is used as part of our information gathering process to provide you with the most accurate assessment of your personal nutritional needs. The test itself is designed to reveal nutritional deficiencies, body toxicity levels, and your own ability to assimilate the food that you eat. After you've obtained your kit from your health provider or through your provider's online store, you will need to register your kit at www.testfornutrition.com. At the top of the website page, click on the Register Kit link to begin your process. You will need to complete all the information requested on the kit registration page and include the four-digit referral ID code that was provided to you by your health provider. If you do not have a referral ID number, please contact your provider immediately or call 800-630-6701 to obtain a valid ID to complete your registration. Once you have completed your registration, click the Submit button located at the bottom of this page. You will then be routed to a link that you will need to click on in order to access an online health questionnaire. This questionnaire is needed to document your current symptoms and health conditions for further evaluation. You do not need to provide information regarding all 153 questions, only the ones that relate to your current symptoms and current health conditions. For each issue, you will need to indicate the severity level at which you are dealing with it, how frequently they bother you, and the length of time you have been dealing with it. Once you have completed this questionnaire, click the Submit button at the bottom of this page. With the completion of the questionnaire, you will be provided a lab requisition form, which you will need to print off and include as part of your submission of your test kit. For proper evaluation of your urine sample, it is important that a complete and accurate collection be made. First of all, you should drink less liquid during the day of the test than you normally do. Secondly, do not drink any alcoholic beverages during the collection period, as this can create false positives in your analysis. Now that you have opened your kit and have registered on it on the website, let's go through the kit itself. The brown bottle is your 24-hour urine collection container. During collection, this bottle should be refrigerated. The bottle itself, however, will not be sent as part of the submission of your sample. The blue and white shipping box includes the remainder of the items that are needed to complete and mail your test. In the box are two coolant packs. After removing them from your kit, they should be placed in the, in the freezer immediately. Also included is a plastic specimen container with ID label, a plastic biohazard bag with an outer sleeve for your lab requisition form, a small plastic zip bag, an absorbent material, and a FedEx air bill and pouch if you choose to send your test via FedEx. When it comes to testing, Sunday will likely be the best day of the week to start. You should also avoid testing on days or weeks that include a postal holiday as, as the timeliness of the lab processing is a critical component to ensuring test accuracy. On the day of testing, do not save your first morning urine. Just record the time you went on your lab requisition form. Then collect in the brown bottle all the urine that you passed during the day and night. Your final collection is made when you empty your bladder the following morning. Again, denote the time and the date of your final collection on your lab requisition form. Make sure to record your 24-hour volume measured on the side of the collection container in milliliters. And include this information along with your age, sex, and date collected on the top of your form as well. Now you are ready to submit your sample. Fold your completed lab requisition form in half with the top of the page facing outward, then slide it into the sleeve on the plastic biohazard bag provided. Second, take your 24-hour collection container, shake for 5 seconds, and then pour off your sample into the plastic specimen container provided.
Fill the specimen container two-thirds full and then tighten the lid on the sample. Write your name and the date you tested on the label. Then place the specimen container along with the provided absorbent material inside the smaller clear zip bag. Finally, place the zip bag inside the plastic biohazard bag. You can now remove the coolant packs from your freezer and place both of them along with the biohazard bag and the blue and white shipping box provided. You should then tape the closure of the box with shipping tape, but only one strip and only on the edge where the box is sealed. You may ship the box either second day FedEx with the shipping bill and pouch provided, or you can send second day priority mail from the post office. The blue shipping box is not pre-addressed. As a result, you will need to fill out a FedEx shipping bill with a shipping address that appears at the top of your lab requisition form. If you choose second day priority through your post office, complete a priority mail shipping label with your return address and the shipping address written out and apply to your kit before delivering to the post office. Thanks for visiting our tutorial about how to use the Test for Nutrition Diagnostic Testing Kit and congratulations on your choice to start your own journey to optimum health. For a written transcript of this video or to order your own nutritional testing kit, please visit us at www.optimumhealthaz.net.